I should investigate. Hello. Nice to see you again. You as well. What can I help you with? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Glad you were able to stop by. There's no denying the conveniences of city life. Hello. It's you. Oh, I can't thank you enough for rescuing my dear Isco. He often speaks of the bravery you showed. You have my undying gratitude. I know what that means. Merlin trial.
Revelio. There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. You made it. I take it this means you had some luck at the library? It took a few hours, and some eye-watering maps, but I think this might be the cave Doran told us about. Impressive. Especially with how little information he gave us. Well, I'm still not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. It seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. It's a bit of a leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. Did you discover why people avoid this cave? Ridiculous, really. Rumor was that the cave drove people mad. I couldn't find any account by someone who had been in the cave, though. So either it is a rumor, or anyone who went in wasn't in any state to speak of it afterwards. Well, we're here. We might as well have a look. Agreed. I wonder if you'd go blind from staring directly at a moonstone. Rebellion. You don't think the rumors about the cave are true, do you? I suppose we'll find out, won't we? Accio. Rebellion. 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 
Champion. Lumos. Lumos. Revelio. Foipers. I beg your pardon? This must be how the rumor about the cave started. The Foipers song is said to drive anyone who hears it mad. Rebellion. Revelio. If the Moonstone is here and so are Foipers, I wonder if. Akio. Revelio. Lumos. And now this. Lumos. Revelio. We need to find moths for those spinners. Akio. Revelio. Lumos. Lumos. Perhaps the runes on the walls have something to do with finding the moths. Akio. Revelio. Another obstacle. No matter. I'm sure we can work out a way across. Defender. 
Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Merlin, it's beautiful. Lumos. Lumos. Rebellion. Look, where the water's bubbling. How odd. Shall we take a closer look? You read my mind. even more beautiful close up it's got to be here i just know it Given what floopers are known to do, I never Rebellion. thought I'd be so happy to see this many of them. I don't know. I've been listening to them for a while now, and I'm starting to lose my mind. <laughs> Very funny. I was just thinking how it's proof that it was happening. Assuming this is where the moonstone is. Rebellion. Which means we're one step ahead of them.
staring directly at the moon. Rebellion. Well, we found what we came for. Now we just need to bring it to the henge. Arrest the momentum. Well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing, too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the Snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the Henge. Shall we? We shall. If we leave now, we should make it there by nightfall. That's the Henge, precisely where Doran said it would be. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to feel. We knew we were at the cave for the Moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the Henge. Whatever it is, it had better have to do with Snidgets. The clock is ticking in that regard, isn't it? Let's make our way down. We're nearly at the end of this. I think that's it over there. Revelio. How's your gran doing, by the way? <laughs> Nothing keeps gran down. She set up a caterwauling charm and threatened to make a coat out of the next poacher that set foot on her doorstep. I still feel terrible that I'm the reason they went there. Surely she'll be pleased you've gone after the Snidgets. I hope so. Gran understands how important it is to protect those who need it. <coughs> Rebellion. Say we know where the moonstone goes. Do you know how rare it is to see even one? They only ever happen under a full moon. Though I suppose the moonstone allowed it to happen now. Is the pattern they left behind on the ground normal? All part of the dance. No one pattern is ever the same, though. We'll need to draw this one to get a better sense of it. Can't wait to tell Gran I've managed to see not one, but two moon calf dances. She'll be jealous. You've seen this before? It was pure luck the first time. I was on high wing or I'd never have spotted it. It was the night I... Well, the night I met high wing, actually, I... If you don't want to talk about it, we don't have to. I'd actually like you to know. About five years ago, high wing had been captured by poachers. At first, they planned to sell her, but soon decided they wanted to kill her instead more money i suppose i'd finally had enough i freed highwing and we ran we'd flown for ages when i spotted moon calves dancing below and we landed to watch them it felt like an omen a good one a sign that the worst was over what do you mean you'd had enough and the worst was over you see the night i freed highwing was also the night i ran away from home a poacher camp i come from a family of poachers Merlin, 
I don't know what to say, Poppy. I can't imagine what that must have been like for you. I never fitted in. But the older I got, the more apparent it became. Gran tried for years to convince my parents to let me live with her. Suffice it to say, when I left with Highwing, I flew straight for her house. How brave. I'm glad you escaped. So am I. There were so many creatures I was unable to help when I was younger. Now that's all I want to do. From everything I've seen, you're doing precisely that. I've had a bit of help. I've never told anyone any of this, but I'm glad that you know. It's nice to have someone to talk about it with. We were around so many poachers in the tent. Were you not worried about being recognized? Poachers are nomadic, and most of the ones in the area aren't any I'd grown up with. That said, I suspect someone must have recognized me. That's how they got to Gran. Do your parents know about the things you do now? Saving that dragon from the fighting ring, for instance. We don't speak, or rather, they don't speak to me. Last I heard, they were in Borneo, trying to make their fortunes there. Acromantulas. However, I wouldn't be surprised if word has got back to them. Some days a part of me hopes that it has. Now that I'm older, I wish I could talk to them, get them to see sense. But sadly, I suspect that wouldn't do any good. What was it like growing up in a family of poachers? The thing I remember most was how much we moved around. Always chasing the next big kill. It was chaotic and dangerous and nowhere a child should ever grow up. I'm glad you told me. We should get back to Doran. He'll need to see the symbol. And we've got poachers to beat. If you collect the moonstone, I can make a quick drawing of the symbol for Doran. Are you finished with the drawing? Just barely. I think the pattern's a bird. At least that's what it looks like. Didn't the journal say the key to finding the Snidget lies in the moonlight? Of course. That's it. We need to show this to Doran. Not that I'd know where to find him at this hour. Perhaps we should head back to the castle and we can track him down after a good night's sleep. Agreed. I'm ready to leave if you are. Don't recall me now.